I'm Batman. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the new one. Okay, this is the... This is an... All right. Epiphone Coronet Wilshire. I believe is the name, title of this guitar. Name. All right. Um, yeah. It's... I don't know about the light. I mean, it's getting kind of dark. It's starting to go dark here, but this is the... Yeah, purple metallic, I think. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Well, let's just go through some sounds real quick. I'm just trying to make a quick video and show this thing off. Okay. Oh, yeah, so we got single coil, humbucker, coil splits. All right, so now we're in the neck position. Just see how it sounds. All right. Ah, <laughs> of course. guitar before 
I don't know if I would have gone for it if, if I had seen it. I don't know. It's crazy. So what this is, is a uh, yeah, uh, Epiphone Coronet. It's a reissue of the original Epiphone Coronet, which was introduced in 1959 or 1960, thereabouts. And it was Epiphone's answer uh, to the uh, Telecaster on Fender. And it was called the slab, and it was a lot bigger than this. I mean, this this is like the '60s model of that, this guitar. It had the bad wing headstock. Uh, the other ones had more of a book uh, headstock later on. But anyway, this one, uh, man, I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, it came out in the '60s, and it, and it was like yeah, that, so it was like their uh, Epiphone's Telecaster, and then later on they. Uh, yeah, I think you had, it was like really thick slab body. That's why it was called the slab. And it had the horns, but they were kind of, I can't remember now. And I believe they also came with just a single um, P90 and, and the bridge. And, uh, but if you get these today, that's that's how they come. Like uh, you get the, they reissued these again or something and, 2020, something like that. And they all just come with a single P90. And this one is from the 90s, and it comes with the OBL pickups, which is original Bill Lawrence. But uh, in, in actuality, they're not actually even Bill Lawrence pickups. Because what? They, uh, they bought the they bought the name from Bill Lawrence and he left uh, Gibson or something. But I read this uh, on Bill Lawrence's website. But anyway, what they the story is these are uh, they say cheap Korean pickups. I don't know. I think they're pretty nice, but you know, I, that's just a matter of taste, which I, I don't have any. But um, anyway. But so they're not Bill Lawrence, it's just just the name, right? It's the weirdest thing. So, um, what the actual pickups are are a mystery, probably something they had laying around in the factory. But, um, yeah. But anyway, oh yeah, so neck is uh, like a you know, satin. It almost, it feels very natural. Just like, it feels like a block of wood. And I, uh, I gave it the once over with some 5,000 grit sandpaper and uh, 2,500 before that. And this thing, man, oh, oh my God. It was so nasty. Uh, it came in a case, you know. I will get to that in a minute, but this thing was horrible. It had actual finger cheese on here on this, on this fretboard, man. And it was... Uh, it looked like hashish, man. I, layers, I was scraping that shit off. I was tempted to, to give it a smoke, you know. It looked, it looked like the real deal. But I didn't. I just carted that stuff. Anyway, and I had to come up here and I had to deep clean this. And I, had, I actually ended up sanding this entire fretboard. Uh, and I think the results are pretty good. And I oiled the shit out of it. And it's like glass now beautiful but I still have some, a little more work to do tell us you know perfect 100% uh, the frets need a little bit of dressing everything is perfect everything is you know level or whatever and it plays so well I have eights on here yeah that's right that's what I like I switched over that uh, recently and uh, yeah it helps me maybe because I'm an old guy I got them pussy fingers, you know. I don't know. But it works for me. And this guitar, man, is, is fucking beautiful. I, 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 I love it. This is my favorite. Right, I'll say it right there. This is number one right here now. And uh, I didn't, I, you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. And this, I, I replaced this bridge. I didn't have to. But I had this guitar laying around, and it had an old Mighty Mike bridge, a big, you know, thick, bulky one. And I compared it to the stock bridge that came with this, and I thought, yeah, I'll put this on there. 
I don't know if it makes a difference. Anyway, and uh, my God, I, I, I can go on forever. This video is going to be 20 minutes or something. No, nah, I won't make it that long. But, uh, oh, what else? <coughs> oh, yeah. And I got this on a trade. So I had this, uh, I had this base for sale. And it was uh, like a, yeah, it was a Korean base. And it wasn't a well-known model. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, well, long story short. So, I put the ad up, and I was like, well, I said, you know, for sale for, you know, X amount. And, you know, or trade for a, for electric, for a guitar. I didn't say, I don't think I specified electric. Anyway, the guy contacted me. And uh, he was like, uh, would you be interested in a, in an Epiphone, uh, uh, it's in a case, and I don't want to drag it out to make photos, so, you know, I'll, and I was like, fuck yeah, I was like, fuck yeah, I'm interested as fuck, man, it's like, <laughs> you know, so the guy sent me the photos, and he was like, it's with the case, and I was like, okay, you know, <laughs> anyway, so I, I went to the dude's house, and it, was, and it was a fair and square trade, you know, uh, he, he took he took uh, my bass out of the bag and he was like man he was so happy you know and I was like okay cool and then he was like he showed me this and I was happy too but the you know the thing uh, yeah it came with the case man but I don't think he's ever been in the case or he left the case open for twenty years or something I mean I did so much work on this thing it. it it looks like the shit right now, but it didn't when I got it. I mean, no, the finger cheese, the the oh my god, the rust. I don't know if I if I even got it all off, but there was all this. Everything was rusty. Uh, maybe here by the pickups, you can see. I didn't get that a hundred percent, but and I had I even I went so far as to change the pick guard screws because they were totally rusted, and uh, I had some black ones that I'd ordered for another project. I thought, man. Somehow it works with the perloid and the black, the black hardware. Well, it's like a mix and match of black hardware, black knobs. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, it looked pretty bad, and it had some scratches. That I got them out. But I, I'm still, still going to do some work on this. It'll be like, man, concours level shit. But anyway. I talked too long. I got too excited. So this, and I probably forgot a shit ton of things. Uh, oh yeah, the tuners. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm not. I don't think the tuners were that great. They seem kind of cheapy, but that's what they came with. I, oh yeah, and everything. Oh man, everything. Everything was loose. I mean, the, the tuners were loose. The the tuning for pegs, keys out of top. I mean, it was loose. Uh, what else? Yeah, the knobs, yeah, these were rattling and loose and everything. And they were cut out, you know, so I had to give them the, you know, the contact cleaner and all that. But, yeah. So anyway, there it is. I didn't, I'm not going to show the case, you know. I don't think you, you know, everybody knows what a case looks like. But anyway, so this is it. Uh, the Epiphone 1990s uh, Corona Corona Wheelshire uh, the, the Telly Killer I'm, I'm calling it man it, it's, it's badass it's awesome yeah <laughs>